What's up? It's your boy Dragon back with a YouTube video, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to make what you see on the screen. Only thing I'm basically not gonna be showing you though is the text, and that's pretty much it. So let's get straight to it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is go to Photoshop, go to File, then go to New, and then you want to go 1280 by 720. Once you do that, you just want to go to Twitter, and you want to get your screenshot. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. You just click on it, then right click, copy image. Once you do that, go into Photoshop, then hit Control V. All right. So I'm gonna resize this image and put it to where you can see both of them my players right, so once you resize the first thing to do is go to select and you can click the sky button or you can just do sky replacement i'm gonna show you guys how to do that off rip so once you hit select then hit sky and then just hit control with j basically what they did was cut out all the upper and i'm gonna show you guys what to do now so basically what you want to do is get a sky image i'm gonna just go to file open because i already downloaded it put it in control v then create a clip mask the clip mask looks something like this and then you can put this back so i'm gonna show you guys how to fix that also but i'm gonna cut out of my player before i do that So now I'm just fixed up this screenshot and if you don't know how to cut out you can just go look at my cutout tutorial but now I'm gonna actually cut out the second my player also. So now you can just right click make selection do what I do right click again then hit control J make sure you're on the right layer also. So if you do it it will come out looking like this and I'll show you guys how to fix that little part right there real quick. So basically the way I found out to fix this um now you can do content aware by like clicking around with this tool and just um do that and content aware but if you want to play with that you can but another way i'm gonna just do it is basically uh cutting it out so i'm gonna cut these icons out and then basically put it over the layer so now she cut out my player they should look something like this i'm gonna go around and shape them up but the background is fixed now that you cut my player so i'm gonna show you guys what to do after i shape them up all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go top layer and add some hue and saturation. Well, I actually pick the vibrance one. That's the one I use on this. I just up the vibrance and then up the saturation. What I did after this was I clicked on the my player and went to blend options. Then I went to drop shadow. So I'm gonna just show you guys basically um, my settings. I'm just trying to get them right. And I added inner shadow and inner glow. Gonna do like. Yeah, you can add an auto glow if you want. If I had an auto glow, I would just put linear dodge and not have the opacity that much high. Like I would kind of have it like that. And if you want to add inner glow, these are my settings for that also. Or so you can up the opacity on your drop shadow and kind of have it looking something like this. Then you hit Control S to save it and just right click, copy layer style, and paste it on the other my player. All right. Now you have this, I'm gonna cut these out and on um, yeah all right so now that you have that i'm gonna cut these out and show you guys what i do so now that you have these you just want to hit control j and basically what i'm gonna do put it under my player and you can just paste the layer style on them now <laughs> if you don't like the way that look you can just uh take the end of glowing stuff off and just keep the drop so i usually paste the layer style on them my um the edge look kind of hard so just do it with the pen tool next time but i'm gonna keep it like this maybe shape up the edges with the eraser brush and just like kind of go in like that because the edges do look kind of hard but yeah you can do that and if you want my eraser brush settings there it go right there but i'm gonna do the same thing with the other one and i'll show you guys what to do all right so now that you got done added in we can start bringing up the image so just go to filter camera raw filter and i'm gonna do this on my players and show you guys how i did on the background so just go in here of the highlight the shadows the whites the blacks now you guys can take more time when you're doing it but that's just how i do mine i just go in there real quick and do it but i'm gonna take more time with the background so i'm gonna go to filter camera raw again i'm not gonna do the default one and basically i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so you should up your shadows your whites your blacks and your highlights and kind of have something like that so you can see that the background way brighter now and um you can even go to filter camera raw and do that with the sky if you want but i'm gonna just keep the sky like that so now as you do that you can hit Control s and if you want to you can add vibrance down here and add special saturation to the background it's up to you on what you want to do but that's how i did it so yeah now what i'm gonna do is add the fence that you see in the back of the thumbnail and I'm going to add the palm trees and all that. But to do this, we got to go to file, open, and I'm going to open up the same pack. If you need it, and once you open, go to nature, and you can get the grass first. For the grass, 
um i simply just kind of put it like um right here and i'm gonna show you guys what i did what i did was hit the uh polygon your lasso tool and i just cut out this right here i did that you can just hit control j on that layer bring the grass down here and put it behind now if you don't want to do that you can do it different and i also made the grass kind of smaller like this size right here you can just hit control j and come across with it like so and you can have something like that and now you can hit control s so you got your grass and you can put it however high or low you want so it'd be something like that next thing i'm gonna do is show you guys how to add the fence just go file open and i'm gonna get the fence so if you need this i'm probably putting the comment section and not the description but i'm gonna show you guys what to do with this also i just brought it in like so and basically put it behind my player so this part is not hard to do you just gotta know how to like um warping and stuff but it's not hard so basically what you can do is hold control and kind of put the perspective right and stuff and I'm not really gonna show you guys how to really get this perspective right, but just hold control and get the perspective right when you putting the putting this on here. So hit control J again, and then you can um, bring it across like so. All right, so now that you're done that, I'm gonna show you guys how to add the palm trees. You just go in here and you can get them. It don't have to be the same thing I added, but you can just get it from here. So I'm gonna show you what to do. Just put it on here like so. And I put mine at the edges when I actually made it. Put one right there. And you can just hit Control J again. Click on this. Flip horizontal. And put one over here. Alright, so now that I did that, I'm going to show you guys how to add a name tag that was in the thumbnail. Like right here. And basically how to do that is easy. You just want to go to the middle of your screen. You can pull one of these to the middle. And once you pull it to the middle, go to the Mark You tool. And then this is how I make it. I just drag this across, hit G on my keyboard, click on it. Once I click on it, um, after what you can do after that is go to your erase tool, make that bigger with the little uh, brackets on the keyboard and click on the edge like that. Now you can hit Control J, click on that, and then flip horizontal. Once you do this, you will have something like that. And you can hit Control E on both of them. Now what you would do is drag this down here. You can hold shift it to make it wider or whatever on the edges and um, hold shift to make it bigger like so. You can have something just like that and you can lower the opacity on it and then add the name. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the name. So I just went to my text tool, I put Stumpy. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with Bandit. So you can just hit control with J and then click on the side and kind of bring it over like that. And now that I've done that, I'm going to just name this bandit. And I, I, you can click on him and put <laughs> and put this in the middle. And then just drag this to the middle like so. If it's not already there. So yeah, so everything can be lined up. So now that you got that, I'm going to show you how to basically get the grass blur in front also. So what you can do is just get the grass. Come over here, control C. Go back over here, control V. And this is pretty simple. You can just put the grass in front, make it as big as you want. Then you can go to filter, blur, gauge and blur. That's what I do. But it's kind of that easy. So you can do that. And then you can um, make it however small you want. and Or whatever. And put it right here. So now that you do this, I'm going to go to these layers. Go to camera raw filter and make them brighter. So I'm going to do this to all the plants and stuff. And the fences by the back there. So you just go in here, highlight, shadow. You know how I told you earlier. And I'm going to do that to all the plants. Alright, so now we've done that. Just create a new layer above everything. Hit be on your keyboard and then kind of um drag this across like so. And just drag this around until you feel like it's good. And you don't have to do this, but I like doing this. So and then you just put on soft light. And create another one, put it on normal, and lower the opacity on it. So instead I got a legend logo because I couldn't really find a good screenshot of the X I know logo. I'm gonna just put this in the middle like so. And um, I'm gonna put the 2K logos on them and stuff, but I'm gonna show you guys basically what I'm gonna do with this. And if you need it, just let me know. So I'm gonna um, create a new layer and hit B on my, I mean not hit B, but hit B on my keyboard, go to the brush, click in the middle, and then just hold shift to bring it down like so. Once I bring this down, you can just lower the opacity of it and kind of have it like this right here. Next thing you can do 
uh, create a new layer, hit Alt on your keyboard, click in the middle, go to Linear Dodge, and lower the opacity, and you can click around a few times if you want. How you do that? If you want to make it more realistic, you can click on the mock layer, create a clip mask, hit B on your keyboard with that same color, and kind of go on the edges of the mock layer. And you can put it on overlay or whatever you want. It's up to you. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is add drop shadow for this mock layer. Not for this one because you're not even going to be able to see it. But I'm going to add a drop shadow going forward. So you just want to hit Control J on the bottom and clear uh, layer mask. You can control U, turn your lightness down. Then hold uh, Shift while dragging the top down. If you need to slow the video down, you can. You just want to click on this, then right click, flip vertical, and then have it like this right here. All right, so next thing you want to do is go to Filter, Blur, and then Gauge and Blur. And you can have it on them settings if you want to. But just have it like this and you can lower the opacity on. That's the easiest way I know to make a, a drop shadow for, like that. And next thing I'm gonna do is add a blimp and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so basically what I did now was add a blimp behind everything. And I can see you guys this blimp, uh, the PNG of it. I'm probably gonna put in the comment section. But I'm just showing you what I did on the last thumbnail. So what I did on the last thumbnail was I just got the racer tool and went around the blimp, probably not the best thing to do, but I just did something like that. So what you can do is, um, if you want my settings, here got my burst settings, right? I mean my racer uh, settings right here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the thumbnail. I'm gonna show you a few more things, but these are not necessary to add. So if you want to end the video right here, you can. So next thing I'm gonna add is 2K logo above their head. And if you need this, just DM me on Twitter or either I will put it in the comment section. So I'm gonna just put it above this head, then hit Control J, bring it over here, and put it above this one. And I'm gonna uh, go to Blend Options, add a drop shadow like so, and then load opacity, copy a uh, layer style, come over here, add a drop shadow with this. I'm also gonna add a drop shadow to a legend symbol, Blend Options, drop shadow and kind of have it like this right here have the opacity kind of like that or you can hit control s to save it now next thing you can do really is um you can merge visible just right click merge visible and now you can go to your camera raw and i'm just basically show you guys the settings that i put on here so what i add is texture you can do dehaze um add some saturation and vibrance to it you can add some highlights contrast even if you want to it's just all type of settings you can play with on here and add some shadows some whites some blacks and it's like it's just a lot of stuff you can do so you turn the contrast down and you can mess with this right here if you want to go for a different type of vibe you can mess with uh that and I already made a video on this, so I'm not going to get into too much detail of it. So I'm just going down here, add some grain to it, add about seven grain. And then uh, maybe add some more contrast to it like so. So now that you've done that, it can look like this right here. Next thing you can do is go to filter, magic bullet looks. So I'm going to show you guys what it do. So these are my settings right here. So if you want to copy these, you can just copy these settings. And you can hit finish on that. All right, now next thing, go to filter Topaz Labs. Now, I don't think I did Topaz Labs on here, but this is if you want to do it, and then you can just apply it. Next thing you want to do is, is create a new layer, and then we just gonna hit Alt on a lot of stuff. So you will hit Alt, and then just click with your brush. And these are my brush settings right here. Alt, click on that, click on this back here. And I'm just holding Alt and clicking almost everywhere. So it's not hard to do. Alt. And then what you would do after hitting Alt on that, all this stuff, you just go linear, linear dodge and kind of lower the opacity. That's what it look like. You just want to lower the opacity on stuff. After you do that, you merge visible, filter, and then you go to noise, and then you would just reduce the noise a lot. So I have mine like that. And that's basically how you make the thumbnail. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Peace out.